hello everyone. Uh, good evening from uh, Tokyo. Good evening, uh, Philippines, Manila. Today I have a great pleasure to speak with Bonnie, who is a business owner and entrepreneur. So Bonnie, uh, thank you very much for this opportunity uh, to learn more about you, about your business. So can you introduce yourself, uh, uh, how you became who are you today and what is your story? All right. Thank you, Edward. And hello from Manila, Philippines. I am Bonnie Factor. I am the founder and CEO of Leading with Success. Uh, we are a training company uh, for leaders uh, and it's a holistic company. We prioritize the well-being of leaders and the culture of the company. Uh, so how did I get into this? Well, I'm an HR manager for 17 years, and before that, I really have, I knew I have passion for training. An example of that is a quick story in my second year high school. I taught my classmates algebra because my, our professor wasn't able to teach algebra. She was just talking to the chalkboard. So that was my first experience of teaching something that I read from a book. And I found that, hey, you know, if I can do it for algebra, I can do it for anything. <laughs> can you explain a little bit more about the uh, current situation of your business? Like how big is your company? Who are the people or companies you are serving? And how your training program actually uh, looks like? For, you, you mentioned for the leaders. So can you just yeah. give us more, uh, more insights to get people understanding? Uh, right now, yeah. Right now, we're a startup. It's very small. There are five of us. We're all women founders and women executives in our own right, coming from corporate to entrepreneur. Um, and the training programs that we offer, yes, it's a leadership development program. Our signature, uh, our signature is the leading with success. Uh, leadership uh, masterclass. So that is our that is our signature. And then after that, we do one to three days leading with success workshops. So similar to other companies, training companies, we do training needs analysis. And maybe what differentiates us from all the rest is that we really get rebooked one hundred percent, one hundred percent. So. You bring us in, we train for you. People love what we do because it's fun. It's just, it's really fun. And so in the feedback form, I will always get feedback and testimonial that will say, well, when are you coming back? <laughs> when are you coming back? So in that essence, when it's fun and there's enlightenment and the well-being and it's compassionate teaching, it's just, it's a win-win for everyone. That's amazing. So uh, f uh, five people, uh, including you, on, 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 in, on the board in the company. So mm -hmm. and you said you are very small, but like that's, that's a dream for some company, for some people who just started the business. So how was, uh, in your case, a transformation from the corporate world and to become entrepreneurs? And how was, for, in your case, to hire people who want to work for you or together with you to create? Uh, new company yeah so well the transition from corporate world to the entrepreneurial uh what happened was in 2017 i left the corporate world planning to migrate to australia and then that that ended abruptly uh due to unforeseen events and then i decided to have an online course about the law of attraction so that's one and then um, I had this partner who was doing e-commerce and we decided let's go for e-commerce. And we did an Amazon workshop. That went great. I suggested to have a startup and we had a mentor for a startup. We entered our idea for a startup. We won. Uh, and then we did a lot of winning in that two-year space as a co-founder of that e-commerce startup in the Philippines. And then by June of last year, mm -hmm. I started receiving requests 
for corporate workshops, which I uh, I really quite enjoy. I really quite enjoy. And so I jump in, and the rest, they say, is history. Here we are. Mm -hmm. leading with, yeah. So what is the impact you want to have with your company in the maybe this year and this decade? We just enter in, in the new decade. So do you want to stay local in Manila or you have a, a ambitious to be lo a national player or maybe even a player in uh, Southeast Asia? Oh, yes. So we're definitely ambitious. I am definitely ambitious and I would really want to go global. The What I see in Asia, and maybe, Edward, you've seen this too, especially you're in Japan. The Japanese people are one of the hardworking people in the whole wide world, right? And and this kind of hard work and hustle, it's a little bit hard on a lot of people, families, everyone. And this is the impact that we want to have. We want to achieve that kind of leadership wherein the leader can rest assured that even when I rest, even when I just allow a lot of things to flow, when I take care of my well-being, when I take care of my family, the company still succeeds. Because really, that's the best business model, right? When you can rest, when you can play, and then you know that you have it in your heart for your employees to play as well, for them to have time with their family as well. and. In fact, studies, this have been proven that, you know, this works. This works. The time of hard work is long gone in the industrial era. We're now in the mobile world where you can work anywhere. I'm in Manila. You're in Tokyo. We can do this and we can be productive, highly productive. We can have high profits. And most of all, the best quality of life for everyone involved. So that's the impact that they want to have especially in asia asia people are so still hard working right and that's good yeah totally i mean i'm coming from europe and living in asia for six years right now i i was traveling uh, in all this uh, neighboring country including your country and uh, yes i agree with you that uh, people are uh, hard workers with not very a good reason for that i mean mm -hmm. uh, they are hard workers but they are not productive so basically they're only tired <laughs> And they uh, feel maybe frustrated and then they have time for the family. And that's also one of the reasons why I started my community uh, to show. Uh, so, for example, today I spoke uh, with uh, women from different parts part of the world. And it's very interesting to see how people can be successful with a completely different lifestyle. So it's, yeah. not, it's not really uh, important that you are working hard just because you have to work hard. Mm -hmm. It's more important that you're working something you are like passionate about or you 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 have some reason to 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 be successful in that area anyhow um uh i like your uh, your story your, your ambition uh, ambitious to be a uh, not only like a, a number one player in philippines but global player so can you share a little bit more about um the transformation you are providing for your clients so you said you are working with the leaders you are working with the uh, corporate world so what kind of transformation people or uh, leaders or and then their employees employees can um, have after working uh, with you and your team? So the experience that I have in that short a time, it's so amazing because they're really very appreciative. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised when you give it your all, when you're compassionate, when you want them to have fun. The learning really sticks. The learning really sticks. So what I do I at the opening, I really do a lot of preconditioning of their mind because really the blocks, the walls are in. I'm already old. I cannot learn that. I already know everything that I needed to know. So there's a lot of preconditioning at the beginning of the training to soften that and for their minds to open. And once you have their minds open, they actually surprise me. Sometimes, you know, I am the one who's surprised with the feedback form, with what they send me, with the, with, you know, with, I'm, I've been awakened. Thank you for the, compassion, um, even if it's for public speaking, especially for public speaking. A lot of people are scared to speak publicly and 
That's one of my highest rated workshops. I'm blown away because people just want to be seen, heard, and understood. That's it. That really is it. So, and that's that's what we want. That's what you know. We want people to experience. You mentioned that you started with uh, with uh, some uh, program which is related for the law of attraction. So, can you share yeah. a little bit more, a little bit more about uh, that and how that impact uh, whole your process and whole your um, company philosophy maybe and what is the law of attraction uh, for people who are maybe not familiar with that oh yeah. so in a leadership development program i was in this was in my former company my previous company way back 2010 so that's a decade ago we were shown the secret <laughs> It was, it was, you know, it was really funny. And then I started gravitating towards that, the secret. And I read all the books in the 10 years. I read all the books. And then, and, you know, I've always been, even when I was a child, a fan of journaling and writing down my dreams. And all of them have come true. Uh, what I found out is that, you know, with Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, begin with the end goal in mind, I I reached a time when I was already a global HR manager reporting to a multinational COO at 37 years old. And I said, well, is this all there is? Is this all there? Because I reached it. So they said career growth. And I reached it. So is, the, is this all there is? And so that was that time when I started there was it was a birth. It was a birth of new dreams and goals. What do I want to achieve before I leave this physical world to transition to the spiritual world? And that that was the moment when all the manifestations were very fast, very fast. They were just all coming all together, and I was surprised myself. So and goals, <laughs> they work. <laughs> And for the uh, women who who are now in 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 the stage of life, they they want to do some transformation. Maybe they want to change uh, career from uh, corporate to become entrepreneurs, or they 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 realize now is the time to do something. Maybe to have bigger impact, to help more people. What will be your uh, thought? What will be your advice uh, for them? What kind of steps they need to take? actually to start uh, to achieve what they want and to start that journey. There's this book uh, that changed my life and it's called The Code of the Extraordinary Mind. It's by Vision Lakhiani. Um, and in that book, there are steps by, there are steps in questioning your reality. So it begins there, you know, questioning your limiting beliefs. What are your beliefs about love, about life, about work? everything and that totally began the journey for me of questioning whatever i believed in so i began questioning is this all there is to it in life will i repeat this uh, over and over until i retire and then i die and then that's when it happened that's when i list down well, this is everything i want to achieve before i leave this physical world to transition to the spiritual world. And that's really good. I really recommend it. Maybe at that point in their life, wherein they say, I followed my parents. <laughs> I followed the culture. I followed my friends. They said, study hard, get a job, work hard. And mm -hmm. then I achieved it. So what is it, right? <laughs> What will be uh, your advice for, for women who are maybe scared of, especially here in Asia, of uh, starting their own business because they are afraid that they might not have enough time for the family? How do, to keep that balance between those two? Agree, agree. Um, when, I, when I was in a, I was in a, because there was a startup for women founders mm -hmm. and I was on TV together with other two women founders. and they had the same question the anchor had the same question so you know you have amazing interview questioning skills because it was the same question and i'm going to give the same answers 
in fact, um, a lot of women are entrepreneurs in the Philippines. The gender equality in the Philippines is one of the top ten in the world. We're in the top eight. Um, so, except in Asia, which is where the Philippines are, we're the only one in Asia where gender equality rules. The f- fear maybe is there, and at the same time, once you go into it, you'll be surprised. Because the freedom, the time freedom, and if you're really hardworking, which I am, if you're really hardworking, the results will really flow, the results will pay off. And if you're doing something that you love, you'll be surprised that it, it's not work. It's not work. And you're appreciated, you're validated, you're recognized for something that you're just playing with. So that's something that I really want to push all the women in Asia for. You know, you can have a family and have a business. There is time freedom. So that's it's an amazing insight for me once I started. That's great. And I'm so happy that you share uh, uh, your story, the reason how you start your company and uh, what you are planning to do in, in Philippines and in, 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 in Asia. And I really encourage uh, people who are now in that stage of the life who are feel, feel that fear of uh, taking the action, please uh, reach out to Bonnie and her team and you will see that you can achieve whatever you want, but without action, you cannot make it. So okay. <laughs> Bonnie will help you uh, in, on that journey. Bonnie, thank you so much for being part of our uh, community. Uh, I hope we will have more chance to speak even uh, about some topics, about some of your work, maybe introduce some of your uh, new program or maybe you will be guest in Tokyo or uh, I will be uh, your guest in, in Manila. So looking yeah. forward to uh, connect more with you and your team and to work together on the future project. Thank you, Edward. I'll refer you to an international conference that I'm a panelist with and hopefully you can speak at that as well. I'll refer you to the founder. Thank you so much.